Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Uh, today we're going to boost some a starter hive. Get ready to do some grafting. We got a cameraman. Is the red light on? Okay. <laughs> Little Bits is doing the film today, so we'll see how that works out. But this hive is, is super strong. I had to put a box on it here a week or so ago just to hold it until. Uh, uh, the weather got right to do some grafting. I made these starters a week ago and they got cold and they didn't, the grass didn't take and I just gotta uh, put some more bees in. So what we're looking for today, we're gonna look for the queen, try to get her, and then we're gonna shake a bunch of bees out of this hive. I'm gonna pull one more frame out. This is a frame I... And there's no eggs. Got a, a medium honey super between it. But I just throw them up and give them some room because they're just, they was just packed, and they are still packed. That's why I got my jacket on today. Shaking bees. You know, a lot of times when you do a lot of shaking, and. Uh, just easier. I get a little rougher on them when I'm not really doing that. You could be on here. That's fresh air. In the last video we talked about marked queens and that one wasn't supposed to be marked and was. This one's supposed to be marked. Supposed to be. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Maybe. A lot of bees. These frames here are all laid up full. Hmm. That's a kind of another little tip that, I, that I'll, I'll teach you. If you're, you're looking for the queen and she's marked, look for an unmarked queen. That way, if the mark got that huge off, or uh, it just gives you good practice for uh, finding queen. Because if you're looking for a mark queen and, and the mark's gone, and you, you're going over it, you'll, ne you'll never find the queen. You gotta look for an unmarked queen, and then hopefully you'll find her. Got off a lot of fresh eggs up there. But we haven't seen them yet. The bees are really we're getting this swarm. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see this frame good? You yeah. see all this capped drone comb. They're they're thinking about going to the trees really really quick, and the weather is straightening up starting today, and I'll be breaking these down into splits all this next week. So I'll take the swarm out of them. I will take the swarm. You know, this is, I think, the 6th, 6th of uh, April. And some of these boxes are absolutely just packed. They really ain't doing nothing in this top box other than putting storing a little bit of sugar syrup. 
But that's what I put it on there for, just to give them a little room, because they was, didn't have any room. Hmm, about fell off, didn't it? It's on the bricks. Beetle trap. Let's see what we got down in here. Yeah, they ain't been too mean. This hive has been a little testy. Don't hurry about the bug. <laughs> Let's see here. Quite a bit more. That looks like a shoddy brood pattern. But this is all laid back in. And all these extra holes, they, she, they patched out. She's already filled them back up. I'm pretty sure this is one of my diversified queens, I think. Yeah, I was down there in another box earlier, and you know the first frame I pulled out, the queen was on it. it. Made things a whole lot easier and quicker. So things in this never work like you want to, right, like you want them to. There's a queen cup. They ain't got anything in it, but there's a queen cup right here. That they're getting ready to think about swarming. Smoker's about out. Here she is. Hey, see here she is, and she ain't marked. What I told you. You see her, baby. You got a, you got a pick for, zoomed in on her. See her. She's supposed to be marked. She's gonna be marked here in just a second. Uh, you can't hold the frame. Nope. I got the. I don't want to walk down there with that. I'm gonna get a box. I mean, I got a box here. Empty box. There's an empty box right here. I'll set her over here in an empty box so we know where she's at. We'll deal with her in a minute. We'll deal with her in a minute. She needed to be marked anyway. Okay, so now we can do whatever we want to do. Instead of walking back and forth, with the bees. We're just gonna take this frame here, this box off, go with it. Come on. Sir. I 
I've already shook a few bees down here, so they're 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 a little bit shook up. In fact, I've got all these done except basically this box here. Put a shaker box on this. And then we're just going to commence to shaking. Some of them, the workers will fly back. We're going to give them, take three frames of bees out of them anyway. That's how we do that. Then we'll put that on there, like that. Can you see this plug here in the camera? I've got plugs here and I'll come back in here and I'll put a bucket of feed on these bees. Okay, let's take this box back up there, okay. Walk up there and try not to shake the camera and make everybody sick. You're not going to hurt the bee population in this box, in there. They got bees everywhere. Uh, get these lined back up. So when we get our queen back in there. There's that. I have to go run and get a, a cage to put that queen in. I'll be right. Just come here and take pictures of right there. They ain't gonna sting you. And as everybody well knows and watches this channel, this is no professional photography and I don't uh, do any editing because I don't have time to edit. It's raw footage. If things go wrong, it goes wrong. That's just, a, it's just the way it is. I gotta make sure that she ain't up here on the lid, which there's a good chance she might have been. Might be. You getting this? Mm -hmm. Yep, right there she is. So she come off the frame and she's right there. Get my ink, get my marking pen ready. And as I said last week, uh, I just got about less than an eighth inch of queen candy in this cage. So you there, you got her, baby? Come on, shoot for We've got our queen right here. We're gonna put a little red. The reason I'm marking red on this because these these are this is a last year's queen uh, overwintered nukes. 
I won't start marking the green colors until I have new queens. Okay, we're going to set her in the shade till we get this box halfway put back together. Get my gloves back on. I don't know if I said it, I was thinking it. I probably said it already. But if I'd have been looking for a Mark Queen, I would have never found that queen. That's why I say look for an unmarked queen always, even though they're supposed to be marked. good shot we're just gonna come up here and put our queen right in here they'll eat her out in about an hour hour and a half and everything will be cool with her I'm standing in the doorway all these bees wanting in here hope oh. yep. got a lid pulled down here you see this Forget this. Put them up there. We got some over here in the box too. I'll come back here. It ain't supposed to get cold tonight, but I'll come back tonight this evening. And make sure they've let her out. If they ain't, I'll release her. It'll be fine. I guess I ought to put the beetle trap back in. And I think I think the beetle, small high beetles are really going to be bad this year. They had a warm winter, and I see a lot of uh, where they've overwintered in the hives. So you get everybody kind of keep keep a close watch out for them. Don't let them overrun your hive. If you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, and get notified when I put out more. Thanks for watching.